So the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped nearly 3,000 points today, which is the biggest drop we've seen in history of the stock market. In terms of a percentage, that's 12.93%, which is the biggest crash we've seen since 1987, where we're starting to see a lot of investors get flustered, running away from the market, and seeming to panic Right now is the best time that you can be doubling down on your strategy and dollar cost averaging your way into the stock market. With that being said, I was able to take advantage of this stock market dip and pick up more shares just driving my costs down. On top of that, I was able to take advantage of the referral program within Robinhood as well as Webull to get some free shares to help bolster my account in this economic downturn. If you missed my last video, I opened 10 free shares on the Robinhood app and it totaled around $50. So in this video here today, I hope that we can get something that's much greater than that. Hopefully we can get some stocks that are above $10 because that seemed to be all that we were getting in the last video, but we'll find out. So if you guys are new here to the channel for the first time, you haven't really been here before and you don't know what it's all about, I talk about all things investing. I talk about my tips, my tricks, my insight into the stock market, as well as do something called the Robinhood Challenge. What the Robinhood Challenge is, is I take $100 every single week and incrementally invest that into the stock market. So what I'm gonna do is hop into the Robinhood app so I can go over some of that progress for you. And you can see today obviously was the worst my portfolio has done in a single day. I lost over $600 today, $601.49 to be exact. Act. But you can see after hours, we're starting to see a little bit of an increase there. And hopefully the market's going to open up at a better spot tomorrow. But honestly, this really isn't bad because I was able to take advantage of some of those discounted stocks today. So over the past week, you can see I'm down $811. The past month, we're down $1,300. Three months, we're down $1,100, and over the past year, we're down $1,200. But all of this is perfectly fine because what we're trying to do with this account is just get those dividend incomes and increase those values that we're getting every single month from the dividends that we're being paid. So if you go into my history and you click over to dividends, you can see all of the different dividend payments that I have been receiving, all of the ones that are gonna be coming in, and this is the emphasis of the entire portfolio because as I'm getting these dividends, Robinhood doesn't actually track that. So although it says I'm down something like $1,200, that's not actually accurate. I'm down a little bit less than that because these dividends that are coming in don't get added onto that Robinhood value. So that is the emphasis of this portfolio here. And if you want to talk about the moves that I have been making, if I go into SPHD, this is what I'm really trying to drive the cost down on. So if you don't know what SPHD is, this is a low volatility, but high dividend paying ETF. So these are stocks that really don't fluctuate along with the market as much as other stocks would. Now, obviously right now it is doing negatively because the entire market as a whole is not doing well, but this is really my emphasis. And a lot of you guys are asking me what I'm investing in right now. And this is the exact ETF because I had bought in at such high points in time. What I wanna do is just drive that cost further down. So if you look at the history today, I believe I picked up another three or four shares. You can see my average cost right now is around $38.72. It was up over $40 before. So this is pretty good. I'm getting it to drop down. The current price for this ETF right now is $29.03. So anytime I am getting a little bit of extra cash to invest with, I'm throwing it right back into this. So all time on this ETF, I'm down $281. And that's not so bad if you look at some of the other stocks that I'm down on, but that is essentially the plan that I have going forward. So what I wanted to do in this video is actually open up some of those free shares that I have waiting within the Robinhood app. And I believe I have eight free shares to open up right now. So I'm really grateful for those people who have been using my referral code on Robinhood. Obviously, if you use my referral code, you're gonna get yourself a free stock and then you're gonna give me a free stock as well. So if you're just looking to sign up using Robinhood, I would highly recommend using my referral code and the same goes for Webull. So Webull, I'll open up a little bit later, but I'm just gonna jump in some of these free stocks here and uh, and start claiming them. So the first one I got here is from Sebastian. So I'm just gonna open that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and scratch the one on the left-hand side. And you can see that I just unveiled a plug power, which is $2.76. So that's absolutely free for me. And I do appreciate you using that referral code. Now, if I hop into the next one, this one's from Carlos right here. I'm going to claim that. I'll go with the right hand side right there, Carlos. Let's see what you got me and GameStop. So a lot of these are very similar to what I got in the previous video. They're all, you know, under $10. Like I was saying, this one was $4 and 37 cents, but it does all add up in the long run. And though it was just $50 in the last video, hoping for a little bit more in this video, it really does help out with the portfolio and it helps out with the Robin Hood challenge. So this one comes in from Bailey. Let's scratch this off. 
and another GameStop. So another $4.37. Now the best part is, because I'm getting these right now today, how the market was so far down, down over 12% today, a lot of these will end up bouncing back in the short term. So you have to wait three days to sell these stocks. So in that waiting period, these might bounce back up a little bit higher. So I'm able to capitalize and get some higher returns on these free stocks. So if I jump into this one, this one right here, I'm gonna go on the left-hand side again, scratch this off. And we got Tronix. I haven't gotten that one before. That's the first time, $5.10. Now I wish I could give you more insight into what each of these shares were, but I really don't know much about these companies because these aren't ones that I would particularly be investing in myself. These are just the free shares that I'm given. And I always end up just selling these to invest in companies that I actually want to be invested in. So let me go ahead. This one is coming from Tyler here. And we got Amneal Pharmaceuticals, this one's $2.46. So we get a lot of pharmaceutical companies when we're doing this. I think that's just because there's a lot of lower cap pharmaceutical companies out there right now. And that's the emphasis on what they have to offer. So I think that the way that Robinhood actually figures out what stocks they're giving to people is just at random. They hold a bunch of different shares of stocks and you can get a stock anywhere from $2.50 up to $500. So one of those big ones would be really nice to pull from something like this. All right, this stock here comes from Graham. Let's see what Graham got us for our share. We got a share of GoPro. Now GoPro, I was getting in the last video as well, $2.01. Uh, slowly adding up here. Um, this one is coming from Brandon. If I scratch it off, another GameStop. So yeah, it is very, very repetitive as I've been saying. And I'm gonna go ahead and open the last free stock that I have in the Robinhood app right here, coming from Edgar. And Edgar got another GameStop. So I believe that was three or four GameStops in this one video alone. And you can see just how, you know, Robinhood doesn't really have a lot of those high value stocks to be giving away. Um, you can see that because I've just been trying to get one of those for such a long time now. You know, in most of my videos, I at least open up one free share that I get from one of you guys. So like I said, I do really appreciate that. Anybody who is using my referral code that is getting me these free stocks, that's getting themselves a free stock, definitely use a referral code. It doesn't have to be mine. If you're signing up for Robinhood for the first time, it's highly worth it to just get that free stock. I mean, who's going to say no to free money? So I've been asking a lot of you guys recently, what brokerage do you think I should be using for my YouTube channel here? Because I wanted to start straying away from the Robinhood app just a little bit after all the issues that they've been having. And what you've seen is that I've still elected to invest using Robinhood, but I'm starting to branch out and I'm going to be putting money into other platforms. So with that being said, I decided to, you know, start promoting my referral code on the Webull app. So I'm just going to open a free shares that I got on that app as well. So let's see what we get from there. And then I think moving forward, I'm going to be investing, you know, still using Robinhood. I actually tried to cancel the recurring payments that I have, obviously that $100 weekly payment, but for some reason it didn't go through and I'm still getting that $100. So I, I don't know, honestly, I might just keep it and continue investing using Rob. And I might just keep it and continue investing using Robinhood. But moving forward, you know, hopefully that their platform remains stable. It hasn't had any issues in the past week, but obviously the market right now is so crazy. Everybody's trying to get onto their account, buy, sell, take advantage of the times right now. So just keeping that in mind moving forward, it's always nice to have secondary options when it comes to investing. That way, if one brokerage is down, you can just pop right onto another and pick up where you left off. So hopping into the Weeble app, I thought it would be a good idea to start opening some of these bonuses that I've gotten from my invitations. I'm gonna head over to my invites. You can see I have one approved invite. I have to figure out how to actually claim this free share because I haven't used Weeble really before. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for that right now. I deposited a value as well so I could get another free share for myself as well as the uh, referral code that I use for my buddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that free stock right now. You can see I just got a $2.20 stock uh, uh, SAN, I'm not even sure what this is to be honest, but I'm gonna go exit out of that. So I have that free stock right there. I'm gonna see if I have any more in here. So it looks like the deposit bonus that I am trying to receive, I haven't actually gotten access to the funds in my account yet, but as soon as that clears, I'll be sure to make a video that has that involved as well. It looks like if you refer people using uh, the Weeble app, you actually have a better chance of getting some of these higher value stocks than Robinhood because Robinhood caps out around $500 and it can be as low as $2.50. But with Weeble, as I'm reading right now, after your first successful referral, any additional referrals that you get will grant you two stocks each valued between $12 and $1,400. So the more that people use my referral code here on this app, the higher amount of stocks that I'm gonna be able to get, the value of them, and this is gonna help boost my portfolio even further. 
So just generally speaking about the market, what's been going on, obviously we're having huge fluctuations today with the biggest drop. We've had other like 10% drops in some of these days as well with bigger upswings. What I'm trying to do is just try not to focus on my portfolio. So I get $100 every single Monday. I'm just gonna continue investing that money, not really thinking about it. I'm trying my hardest not to look into my portfolio. It's very hard to stay away from it because as you go in and you see, you know, I'm losing over $1,000 in one day, you know, huge percentage of my portfolio is dropping. But what you try and do is just not get too tied to the numbers right now. If you're a long-term investor, you really shouldn't be worried about where the market is right now. It only matters where it's gonna end up when you're trying to reach your goals. So for me, I mean, I'm gonna be investing in this account for well, well over 50, 60 years. So it doesn't really matter where we're at today. It's actually better that the market is dropping because I'm able to get more for my dollar that I'm putting into my portfolio. I'm able to drive the cost down even further. So that way, when the market starts to turn around, you know, when all this stuff that's going on in the economy starts to slow down and and then obviously turns around it's just going to be able to profit much quicker for me and i'll be able to take advantage of a lot more money that i have thrown into the market versus if the stock prices were still going up and i'm just putting more and more money in but not getting as much for my dollar so i'm also curious to know what stocks or etfs are you looking to take advantage of on the dips in the market right now where are you looking to invest some of your money or are you holding off on the sidelines for the time being for me i get really excited because i think there's a lot of great opportunities to be seen out in the market today day. You know, you can get cleaning products. Obviously that's going to be huge with what's going on right now. You can get airline stocks because they're obviously taking a dive. Not as many people are flying right now at this point in time. Cruise lines are really, really great as well. I believe Carnival's now under $20, which is just really, really great. There's a lot of different ways that you can be going around at Amazon with their supply chain being impacted. Apple, huge name stocks, Microsoft. So I'm very excited to be able to take advantage of some of those investments. But I want to know directly from you guys, what are you keeping your eye out for. And anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you in this video here today. So if you do have any questions right now, questions about what apps I'm using, questions about the Robinhood app, investing in general, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. But other than that, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you guys want to check another one out, then go ahead, check out the last free stock opening video that I have. That's going to be linked on the screen, top left-hand side. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day.